What's up everybody, G over here. Today's vlog day in Model City going on patrol. We're gonna be hanging out with Officer Crocker. So let's jump in the car and see what's going on. Good morning everybody, it's Officer Crocker here. Good to see ya. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you get some coffee in? No, nah, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. We gotta get some coffee in in a minute. Uh, we're getting ready to start the day on Asian Patrol. Mornings are typically a little bit uh, a little bit slow. You know, people are still waking up, going to, you know, going to work. So we'll take the moment to uh, talk about some things that we have here that's new. Um, I'm noticing that we got a brand new setup here on the computer. We have a screen here, then we have just a laptop. We also have the phone, which comes out of here. You can actually go into the system, the computer literally in my hand. So if I get out on a call, I can look up anything like who made the call, what the call was about. I can run the person's tag or their name to get the information for the car. I can also go here and look up a incident that took place prior from which I need information from. Or I can just go back home and see what's waiting or what's holding from dispatch. See that? 747, 747. North West 7 and 47. Armed with a gun. Armed with a gun. Oh boy. We have a, an officer requesting a 315 emergency backup right now. Um, subject is armed with a gun. We don't know exactly what's happening. So everybody right now is, is um, rushing over there. 746. 753. we're pulling him now. What are you doing There's another one that headed. Eastbound. Should be getting close. On 46. Blackmail, Black Dredge. Blackmail, Dredge, east on 46. Yes. That's me. Yes, we're trapping up perimeter. Let's get the perimeter. 46, screw you. We're going to cancel the other one. Let's get the other one. Let's get the other one. The second subject, he's also with Dredge and with a firearm. Do you have a more descriptive hold? Do we need a perimeter? Because I'm being advised by a team that he's now somewhere. Do we need a perimeter? What you need to do with us? Do! We got him Oh, they got it. 12 10. They got both of them. They have them set up the box and the TV on aviation there. Yeah, take his spot. It's a it's a gun there. And he dumped the magazine. Yeah, so I was right behind him where he dumped it. That's where he dumped that firearm. So basically what he said was uh, it was a traffic stop. The guy took off, brandished the gun, and they engaged in a foot chase. One of the offenders threw the, the firearm, but before he threw it, he stripped the magazine. So we recovered the firearm. Now we're looking for the magazine, we're retracing the steps. So when he jumped the fence, the other one must okay. be right here. Cause uh, I can't hear it. They both ran back out over here. Went over across the street. So I guess they went over the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get back, yeah. double back. Yeah. So look who showed up on scene. We got Lieutenant Delmiller. How you doing, brother? I'm good. How about you? Good. Good. Happy nobody got hurt. That's a good thing. It's always that's the that's the key. If we can if we can make it through every call without somebody getting hurt, absolutely. We can work with everything else. Absolutely. Now, one thing that everybody says, oh, routine traffic stop, routine traffic stop. Man, that's something to always keep in mind. There's never a thing as a routine traffic stop. If you look at any call, I think as a routine call, you need to get out the business because uh, you just never know when, when a call is going to go from what you would consider routine to something actually you know, explosive or dangerous. So every call, every call is dangerous. Every call has the potential of going south real quick. So you have to be ready for that. You should never become complacent. So 
So this is where the incident started. The officer went ahead, tried to conduct the traffic stop, goes ahead, lights and sirens, activates, boom, car takes off, goes through the fence, hits the church, bail out. They, luckily, a bunch of officers were in the area. They went ahead and apprehended them on the other side by the 95. Now on a scene that's this big, and there is a piece of evidence missing. They're, they got the firearm, but it's missing the magazine. They have to conduct an article search, so they have the canine in there going ahead, doing this thing, sniffing around, trying to find it. In order to keep the people safe, we put up some crime scene tape, put a perimeter around the entrances of the area to make sure nobody walks in and allow the dog to do its thing. So hopefully the canine is able to come up with what they're looking for and put that piece of evidence along to the case. There was uh, an officer in need of help for a disturbance call. Um, unsafe structures. First time I've ever been to one of these demolishing uh, events. Me myself. That's, yeah. You know, First time lack also. of better words. Yeah. <laughs> a demolishing event. You know, where they're trying to um, to get rid of these abandoned uh, buildings and homes that are housing um, homeless as squatters. They're housing. You know, drug dealers where they're coming in, they're taking over and they're using it to sell narcotics. So the city is trying to clean up the neighborhood, clean up the area. So typically they contact the owners. The owners have a certain amount of time to, um, to manage their property and uh, take care of it with the city. And if they don't, then the city seizes it and eventually demolishes it. So, what the gentleman out here today, he didn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want the demolition to take place because he said he was trying to uh, buy the property. But unfortunately, he didn't get the property in time. Exactly, once it's been scheduled for demolition, there's really nothing police can do. It's a civil matter. All we can do is try to help connect him with the proper people to speak to down, you know, down with the city and, and handle it, you know, that way. It's not a criminal matter. As long as he's not interfering with the, the actual demolition, we're okay on our end and we'll be able to go. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be able to go back on patrol and keep it going. We got a traffic stop, no brake lights, so I'm going to pull him over and advise him of it and let him know that he needs to get that fixed. 11, 12, 19. 19 and 17. 7 and 6, 4. Pulled her over because she had no brake lights. Um, upon making contact with her, she did not have her ID, so I took her social. I'm just gonna check it and make sure that uh, her license is valid. A computer check revealed that her license is valid, so I'm gonna go let her know that they're valid, but she needs to get the brake lights taken care of. But y'all gotta get the brake lights fixed. Yeah, you do. I mean, you're not supposed to know they're in the back, yeah. but just try to, you know, get you a fix. Both of them are out. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Have a good day. All righty. Just, just coming in, I, I took one of the back streets past the Liberty Square. Now, Liberty Square used to be all old army barracks, and wow, what a surprise. How long have they uh, made these changes? Uh, probably in the last, I want to say about last two to three years, they made the changes to the new Liberty Square. So the new Liberty City de development project is really, really nice, gated community, beautiful uh, apartment complexes, you know, they almost looks like, like high end, yeah. like a luxury apartments from the outside. They got playgrounds for the kids. So it's a wonderful thing. They got them out of the old army barracks. You know, they closed those down. Nobody's allowed to be in them anymore. And I guess eventually they'll all be demolished and the whole entire Liberty Square is going to look like a nice, you know, residential neighborhood that's gated and is able to uh, to cater to the, to the people a lot better. And coming from Section 8, thumbs up. They did a great job. Great. Yes. Came out with a with a big stick trying to hit me with it. Dirt in the knee trying to hit me with it. Yeah. She did that. Did she invite this lady here or? No, she was in the Oh, she did that. So who is this lady? She a friend of your mom's or? No. Hello. Let me ask you, you told me she had a stick, right? Yeah, yeah a big, like, a big, like, like this long, kind of thick like this. Oh, 
Croc is one of my favorite 15-year veteran. <laughs> it's crazy to say that because it feels like yesterday we, right. we started. Yeah. Um, you know, we worked together in the North in uh, patrol when uh, we were in PST. Yeah. We were um, doing pretty much the same thing, but on different teams. So when I was in Model City, she was Little Haiti. When I was Little Haiti, I was Model she City. was Model City. So it's great to catch up with, with a friend. For the month of June, as we do with all the other months, we allow the officers to wear the hats that are rainbow colored, representing the unity and inclusion that represents pride. What pride means to me is loving yourself and being comfortable in your skin and being who you are. 1106. Oh, no tag. I just have it told. Yep. Let's see. 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 Let's The tow truck's been here for about three weeks, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the VIN numbers because there's no tag. Which, when I got up on the vehicle, the VIN number was covered with a, uh, with a flyer. So, I'm gonna check the VIN number, see if it belongs to anybody. You guys can be here with an hour or to two hours to pick up. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll be cool. That, that way it gives me time to get a hold of them. Okay, it's on, it's on 17th Avenue? Uh, uh, 47, right there. Yeah. On the corner. Yes, sir, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You're okay? welcome, no problem. Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Okay. The guy who owns the, the company, they said they're going to come pick it up. Okay. The guy who's driving has been sick. Okay. So he's calling them right now, and they'll be here to pick it up. Okay. If they don't come pick it up, okay. Maybe an hour or two. Uh -huh. Give us a call back. Okay. And I have to tell you. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So we've been out here all day. Uh, for an eight shift, pretty busy. We had we had several calls that we went to. Um, the mornings are always uh, usually a little bit slow for the most part. You know, people are waking up. You know, we come in at six o'clock in the morning. Um, not as a call heavy as what a, a B shift officer would deal with. You know, when they're coming in the afternoon, they're just already. You know the calls are piling up waiting for them by the time they check in so with that being said guys please don't forget to like share yeah, and subscribe see you later